find out how to not die, which is good. Side the bike with the side with. <laughs> right, welcome back. I know it's been ages since uh, since I've. Um, put anything online and um, the been reasons for that uh, with the Icarus X that was something that I dreamed of doing that and when I did that really I reached I reached the high point really I, I kind of had achieved the main thing that I wanted to set out to do well I think with the uh, paramotoring what I wanted to do was um, travel and go and see places and although it can do that you're quite limited by things like weather and uh, flying at the beginning and the end of the day and with Icarus X obviously we were flying in the middle of the day and it turns out that's not a wise thing to do so um, I've gone back to something that I used to do many moons ago um, and uh, let me just turn around that that's what I'm uh, looking at now which is uh, obviously a bike um, I've ridden bikes loads but what I haven't ever done is I haven't ever ridden them off-road so um, what I'm gonna be doing essentially is I'm gonna be uh, uh, cataloguing or charting the the story of how to go from only being a road uh, rider to doing a bit of off-road and uh, this is my Royal M Enfield Himalaya I'll just show you it there you go <laughs> all beautiful so we'll see how it goes we'll see you on the road Um, Sheffield. Oh, right. Alright, so there's a little shot there. Alright, here we are. Um, <laughs> Himalayan Odyssey. Mm. Um, we're just about to have the intro talk, so I'll film some of that and uh, we'll, we'll find out how to not die, which is good. Um, you can see outside there, it is a stunning, stunning uh, valley that we're in. Right, um, in a bit. We got, we got here Jeff, Hi. Vicky, Hello. Stickler, Cheers. interesting character, done a lot of weird crap in his life. Just weird. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have all done things that are more interesting, I just didn't work. <laughs> uh, the idea is we can be just for everyone to get more comfortable on the Himalayan, obviously we've chosen it for a reason because we think it's going to allow us to do more travelling. And you have to that tire pressure, you can that. Functions, how we do them. If anybody knows how to split the jack, nice chain and half. If anybody knows how to serve, we'll do the top hill, down hill, river crossing, water crossing. We'll start off small and we'll keep 
suffering. When you're falling, you need a gap. Don't sit behind somebody right behind you because you're silhouetted by them. So if they hit the devil, you're going to win. Stay to the side. If you go on the rule, look ahead. You do not want to be looking down when you're off road. Look as far as you can in front and then have a scan down the road. If you should be looking as far as you can see in front of you. <coughs> okay? Um, and we like to say back road first. We don't want to see anybody on the front road first. Makes the bike not makes it pet and it loads the truck. And normally when somebody sees a pothole, shut up, hit the brake. You're better off riding through it with the top on. That way the suspension is long and it coat with what you hit because the suspension will come to you. When you brake and shut off, the bike goes down and the suspension collapses. So you hit something with half of the suspension you've got anyway. And you haven't got a great deal you might as well use what you have got to put into that So when you shut off normally, you will load the front. You're better off just riding through it. So there's just a few things. Keep looking ahead. Lay off the front brake. Use the back brake first. And look out the front. If it's something you don't like, don't be looking into it. Look out of it, and that's where you're going to go. the bigger ones and they chuck them into the middle or the outside. If there's any big rocks in there they're going to be in the middle. Don't ride through them. Everybody's tempted because you think it's a bit shallower because the tires have eroded the other side. Go in the tire tracks. All the big stones have been moved for you. <laughs> if you hit a big stone in there you're going to go down in a heap. So don't ride the middle, ride the tire tracks. Somebody's already cleared it for you. Okay. And you don't even this, you don't hit this in four. <laughs> okay, you just get soaking wet, you get blinded for a second with the water, you won't be able to see, you won't be able to see your way out. Slow right down, bottom gear, just drive in steady and then drive through. It doesn't cost you any time, it saves you time in the long run. Um, we came through here this morning and the guy in front of me was just a dot on the horizon around the corner there and I caught him up I caught him up because he didn't let me slow down here <laughs> get splash everywhere it cost him time just go in steady just drive through okay I'll show you in a minute and then you can all do it one at a time see what we mean ride what you can see yeah. from this direction you can see it. From the other direction, you can't. Depends how quick you go. Okay? So always be aware that when you get a crest like that, there could be something there. I actually thought this was further on. But hey, <laughs> pulled off. <laughs> okay, first water crossing, and off he goes. So he's the guide. And uh, Looks like I'm on. Here we go, first water crossing. There we go, easily done. Right, everybody ready?
So you ran out of steam. Yeah. Five feet from the top. at that point there's nowhere to go there's nowhere to go it yeah. started going backwards that's what freaked me out and then I kind of was just I jumped to the side and the bike went to the side with me <laughs> and then he watched it yeah, yeah, how come you weren't behind me to get the video <laughs> <laughs> it's a full on knobbly tyre that's a 150 for um, adventure bike like my thing over there gear leave and stuff like that okay um, even random stuff like this so day one of, uh, of the three-day training course on the Himalayan Odyssey um, which I'm bloody loving so it turns out that if you if you get your technique right on the bike um, just just all that stuff of getting across awkward things is immensely comfortable you know like riding on a like right down the road almost. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, uh, reflections on today. Well, I fell off, obviously. I, I was uh, trying to do tight figure of eight corners, and um, as the bike started going over, what, what, what I would normally do on the road is I'd just hit a bit of acceleration and pop it straight back upright. But of course, uh, <laughs> the back wheel started spinning and then sliding out, and I just went all over the place. And uh, next thing I knew, I was there. Uh, I kind of did a, a horizontal donut, but fortunately I was lucky enough to be able to just gracefully step away from the bike and uh, just land standing up. So it's a pity I didn't get that covered in the, in the footage here. Um, what else? Rob. Rob, what an awesome guy. Rob is a really nice guy. Um, and uh, I've just been chatting to him just now, having a beer with him. And uh, he's, um, he, he, I, although he's kind of philosophy is a bit different to mine in terms of the way, what he likes to use bikes for. You know, for me it's all about just kind of travelling and seeing places that I haven't seen before. And for him it's it's more about the riding than the, than the adventure, I think. I think that's fair enough to say. Um, but uh, he was just saying, saying about um, I don't know what he was saying. I can't remember too many beers. Um, so yeah, what else have I learned? Um, putting your weight on the outside, uh, awesome, you get around those corners. Um, it's just remarkably easy when you do it right, but I know we're on graded and simple trails and there's not too much gnarly stuff. Um, I'm anticipating it's going to step up a bit tomorrow. I'm looking forward to doing a few bumps and stuff and that's the sort of stuff that I maybe would have done on the, the mountain bike back in the day. Um, ultimately, um, this will hopefully lead to adventures to you, you and uh, previously undiscovered by me places in the world. Um, 